Question 7. As a practice problem for a test on vectors in R2 and R3. The question 7 is, a parallelepiped is determined by the vectors OA minus 2, 0, 2, OB, 0, 4, 1, and OC, 0, 5, minus 1. Draw and sketch the parallelepiped formed by the given points. Determine the coordinates of all the vertices for the parallelepiped. So do a neat job of this. Try to make a scale and then draw it. And don't forget to find the coordinates of all the vertices. Remember, like you had been drawing the rectangular prism so far, which had rectangular faces. Here in parallelepiped, you'll have parallelogram as your faces. Keep that in mind and then draw this. Once you're drawn, look into my sketch and check your answer. Now here is how I will do it. So let's make a scale here. I mean, I make a rough scale here. First let me draw the coordinates axis, x, y, and z. So these are my three coordinate axes. So x, I'm using the right hand rule here, where the thumb points towards z, that is z, and if I curl my right hand fingers, they will curl from x to y. And all these are at right angles. Now, position vector OA is one side of our parallelepiped. So let's find what OA is. O is minus 2, 0, 2. That means you'll move minus 2 units in x towards minus direction. Let's say this is my 1 and this is my 2. So that becomes minus 2. And then 0 along y, so you don't really move. And then 2 along z-axis, so you move here 1. And then let's say 2. So once you come to this position, it's a position vector OA, that's the point A in R3. So join this point with the origin. So there you are. So that is the point and that represents OA. So I can write here A and that is O, right? So that is my first vector OA. Now let me use another ring to show you OB. OB is 0 along x, so you are at the vertex, origin itself, 4 along y, so let's say 1, 2, 3, we are just using 3 dots for 1 unit, 1 unit, 2 unit, 3 unit, 4 units. So that is along y, and then along z we have 1 unit, so we say this is my position. So that represents point B. And if I join this with the center, it gives me point B, right? So that's my OB. Now, OC. So let me take another ink to draw OC. So for this, we'll again move from the origin, 0 along x-axis, 5 along this. We're already there at 4, so we'll go 5. And then minus 1 is 1 unit down towards Z. So there you are. So that is the point C. So if I join O with C, I get my third vector, which is OC. So that is my C, right? So we got these three to start with. And these are the edges of parallelopiped. So we'll have in all 12 edges, three more to go of each kind. That is what it is. So what you do is that from now you can start with one vector. Let us say this is OB. So let's make OA over here. So we'll join with the head at B. Let me draw OA parallel to this so that we make a parallelogram. So that is what it is. So it will go like this kind of and we'll end up kind of here. So that gives me a vector which is parallel to OA from B. So let me say that this is my position, right? And then again from C I can do the same thing, right? So same thing from here will give me a vector which is like this, right? So that is my 
OA. So parallel to OA, I have made C. Now we'll try to make the front of it, which is this face, right? So let me draw parallel line to OC from A. That's how it is. So we got the front face of it, right? Now, similarly, what we can do is we can join other points and complete our vector. Now, as you can see here, we need to draw. So from here also, we can draw parallel to C like this. So that comes the top portion, correct? And let me join. So likewise, to keep on joining the OB, let's consider OB and draw three vectors which are parallel to OB. So that makes four of them. So we got all. And now let me join this. So this is the fourth one along OA. And those which we're not able to see so far, we'll join them by the dotted line. Do you see that? So, so that is how our parallel pipette is going to be. Now what we can do is we can label it. Now we've done the first part that is draw the sketch. Draw and sketch the parallel pipette formed by the given points. So the points are A and this is the point B for us. Now these points are already given to us, right? Now part B is determine the coordinates of all the vertices for the parallel pipette. So, to find all of the vertices, we have to just add the coordinates. See how we do it. OA is point minus 2, 0, 2, right? OB is 0, 4, 1. Let me write 0, 4, 1 here. 0, 4, 1. That is OB. And OC is 0, 5, minus 1. Now, if I have to give coordinates of let us say this point. How will I give? So that is OC plus OA. Do you see that? OC plus OA gives me this point, right? So I can call this point as, let us say D. And let me give point, let's say this point is D for me now. Now for D, I have to add OC and OA to get to D, right? So I can write D as 0 and minus 2 will be minus 2. 5 and 0 will be 5 and minus 1 and 2 will be 1. So I get D, right? Now, if I have to get from D to E, let us say, then I already know D, and going this way is meaning adding OB. OB is 0, 4, 1. Let's add 0, 4, 1 to it. So we get E. If I add 0, I get minus 2. 4 plus 5 is 9, and 1 plus 1 is 2. Correct? E. Let's go to F. Now point F we can get by joining OA and OB, right? This line is parallel to OB. So when we add them up, we get minus 2, 0 plus 4 is 4, and 2 plus 1 is 3. So we get the point F. Now what are we left with? Let's say this point is left, I think, G. Now to get G, it is OC plus CB, I mean OB, right? OB and CB, CG, right? So OC plus CG is the point OG, right? So we'll add the coordinates, position vectors for C and B to get G. 0, 5 plus 4 is 9, and minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So see, that is how we get all the vertices. Do you get it? Have a good look at it. Try to understand how we got our parallel pipette. I'll appreciate practice it. It's not so easy, right? Practice. And that will help you to draw, uh, to do a better job than what I did, right? Uh, but it gives you a fairly good idea of how to really sketch one parallel pipette, right? Thank you.